Hello, Travel Box. We just returned from a two-night stay at the Grand Bavaro Princess in Punta Cana. This is a full video tour of this all-inclusive resort, so you know exactly what to expect. The Grand Bavaro Princess is located right next to El Cortecito Beach, one of the best beaches in Punta Cana. The beach area of this hotel was nice, with plenty of chaise lounges and palapas for shade. It is divided into two sections, one for guests staying at the Grand Bavaro Princess and the Princess Family Club, which is the family section of the hotel, and another exclusive for guests staying at the platinum side of the resort. The beach was beautiful. It is one of the most stunning beaches we've seen in the Punta Cana area. It had the characteristic turquoise color and white sand, although it was a bit wavy. The Grand Bavaro Princess has two pools. The main pool is big and located near the beach. It has a big bar with dry and wet sides. It is very active, and there's music from the moment it opens until it closes. Most of the day entertainment happens in this pool. The main pool area had many lounge chairs, but needed more umbrellas. It was hard to find shade while lounging outside the pool. If you like a quieter and more relaxing atmosphere like us, then the relaxing pool is the way to go. This pool is near the lobby. It is medium sized and has a dry bar. This pool had many lounge chairs, but needed more shade as well. Grand Bavaro Princess has two buffet restaurants, a small one by the beach called El Trapiche, open just for breakfast and lunch, because at night it becomes El Gaucho Steakhouse, and a big one called La Española, near the lobby building. La Española is open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. In addition to El Trapiche and La Española, eight specialty restaurants complete the culinary offer of the Bavaro Princess. Focaccia is the pizzeria, Samsara is the Indian restaurant and the best restaurant we tried during our stay, Il Tartufo is the Italian restaurant, El Gaucho is the steakhouse, La Hacienda the Mexican restaurant, El Pescador serves seafood, Tanuki is the Asian restaurant. This is where they do the tepanyaki shows. The Japanese restaurant is called Wasabi. The specialty restaurants are open for dinner and require a reservation. You can make the reservations through the resort app, although it was down several times during our stay. If you're hungry between meals, you can grab a snack in several places. There are two food trucks by the beach, one serving pasta, and one right next to it, serving hamburgers, hot dogs, and fries. Rebels Sports Bar in the lobby building also serves food and drinks and is open 24-7. And the coffee shop, Frappuccino Coffee, is in the platinum section. Still, guests of the Grand Bavaro Princess have access to it. It became our favorite spot in the resort. Here, you'll find sweet and savory snacks, coffee, and very tasty frappuccinos. Did you know you can help us grow our channel and it doesn't cost you anything? Simply click on the book now link in the description of any of our videos when you're ready to book your Punta Cana resort. We earn a small commission if you book within seven days of clicking the link. It helps us grow our channel and it doesn't cost you extra. There are several bars scattered across the resort, making it easy to order drinks no matter where you are in the hotel. Each pool has its bar. You can also find a bar in the lobby building with plenty of seating and beautiful decoration, a truck bar by the beach, and a bar inside each restaurant. The Grand Bavaro Princess is a big resort, and it doesn't disappoint when it comes to amenities. There is a well-equipped gym if, like us, you like to work out during your vacation. There is also an on-site spa which you have to pay to use. There is a half basketball court by the beach, a beach volleyball net, and soccer goals. There are also three sand surface tennis courts, a multi-purpose court, an archery range, and a kids club with slides. You can also borrow equipment for water activities like kayaking. 
the Grand Bavaro Princess has an eco trail or paseo ecológico, where you'll find mangroves, several species of birds, turtles, guinea pigs, toads, and even peacocks. Finally, there's Rebels Sports Bar, which is open 24-7 and where people hang out during the day and night. Here, you'll find pay-to-play arcade game machines, two pool tables, one was out of service during our stay, and three foosball tables. We booked a bungalow suite with an offer and paid just $94 per person per night. The room was spacious, beautiful, and very comfortable. You'll find a closet area to your right as you walk through the door. The space is adequate for two people. There's an iron with an ironing board, three blankets, and an extra pillow. Then, you'll see the bedroom area up a couple of steps. Our room had two twin beds, two night tables, plenty of outlets, and USB charging ports by the beds. At a 60 degrees angle to the beds, there's a 55 inch wall mounted TV. On the other side of the room, there is a living room area with a small dining table with two chairs. Next to the dining table, you'll find an accent chair with a big mirror and a big sofa bed in front of it. Before the bathroom area, there's a well-stocked coffee station with a coffee maker. Below the coffee station is the minibar with two cans of Presidente beer, four bottles of soda, and one big water bottle. The bathroom is separated from the rest of the room by a door for ultimate privacy. It has a double vanity, a toilet that is also separated by another door, a big shower with a rain shower head, and a beautiful bathtub, complete toiletries, plenty of towels, and a hair dryer. Our room also had a big balcony with comfortable furniture and a coffee table. This was the view of the gardens from room 8412 in Villa 84. The Grand Bavaro Princess is beautiful. The vegetation is lush, abundant, tropical, and well-groomed. This is one of the most stunning resort grounds we've seen in Punta Cana so far. It is a gorgeous and well-maintained hotel, greenery and infrastructure-wise. From the lobby to the beach, the resort is a bit long and a lot of walking is necessary. Or you can catch the train that goes around the resort. However, there is high demand for the limited spots on the trains and it doesn't drive through in reliable intervals. The Grand Bavaro Princess has a good entertainment schedule. During the day, they organize petanka games, pool aerobics, and dance lessons around the pool. The entertainment staff was active and friendly. At night, the resort staff organizes your typical Punta Cana night show at the theater. Sometimes, they do the night show at the Plaza Colonial. One of the nights we were here, we saw a live band playing salsa and merengue at this plaza. The Grand Bavaro Princess has an active nightlife. Now click on this video to see our honest review of the Grand Bavaro Princess so you can decide if this is the right resort for your Punta Cana vacation.